The start of the Fastnet race is always a special occasion, but none more so than today. We saw really punchy conditions, 20 knots of breeze just to start with, and then with gusts going right up to 30 knots, and the wind against tide, it was always going to be a big one, and it was. The world's most famous start line, the Royal Yacht Squadron here in Cowes, delivered an incredible spectacle. But aside from the weather and the history behind this famous race, it was once again the depth and breadth of the fleet that was just so spectacular. At the top end, the biggest boats, we had three old team trimarans. We had Sedebo, Gitana 17 and Actuel, the big 32 meter powerful tries. We had Scorpius, the 125 foot swan, brand new, only just down from Finland out here. We had Rambler 88 that has got line on us for the monohulls in the two previous fastnets. We had a fleet of Imokas. We had a massive fleet of class 40s. And when we're talking about those kind of boats, we had a huge fleet of double-handed sailors as well. And that's before we get to the backbone of the fastnet race, the Corinthian sailors, the amateurs. It was really, really special. It was a punchy start. It was a difficult beat. And when they got down to the needles, it really was pretty difficult because the breeze was running hard against the tide, big standing waves. It was pretty scary stuff. The fleet has got about another day or so of these big conditions to get their heads around as they beat out towards the west. But after that, the forecast is for the breeze to start to drop. The big question is, can the big boys get round before it does? It is windy and it's going to be a punchy start to the uh, Rolex Fastnet race, racing to the uh, rock the Fastnet. Cowes Castle, home of the Royal Yacht Squadron, the most famous start line in all of yachting. And this the biggest offshore race in the world and it's uh, underway. is the variety and we're seeing here it here out on the Solent already with the massive multi-hulls, the huge monohulls. So there are some classic old boats here as well taking part. This is classic fast net, isn't it? I mean it just, just looks amazing as they uh, as they head off with the spray flying over the over the bow. You know, these are such mean machines. Thank you. 